Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to find the area of a parallelogram. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Finding the area of a parallelogram is the same as finding the area of a rectangle. The formula for finding area of a rectangle is area equals base times the height. The formula for finding area of a parallelogram is also area equals base times the height. A parallelogram is just a figure where the opposite sides are parallel to each other. In the case of the example shown here, you can see that this side is parallel with this side, and then the top and bottom sides, this side and this side, are also parallel with each other. You can think of a parallelogram as kind of like a rectangle that has been pushed over or slanted at its angle. Whereas rectangles have 90 degree angles where the sides meet the base, parallelograms will not. But in order to find the area of a parallelogram, you will use the same formula that you use to find the area of a rectangle. That means we're going to use the area is equal to the base times the height. In the case of this example here, our base, which is the distance of the long side of the parallelogram, is 12 feet. So we know the base is 12 feet, and we also know the height is 6 feet. And I know this is the height because it's the distance between the two sides of the parallelogram. In order to find the area, we're just going to multiply the base, which is 12 feet. So we're going to do 12 times the height, which is 6 feet. Then when you multiply 12 times 6, you will get 72 feet squared, and that's going to be the area of this parallelogram. Let's do a couple practice problems on our area of a parallelogram worksheet. The first problem on our area of a parallelogram worksheet gives us a parallelogram where our base is 15 inches and our height is 8 inches. Remember, the area of a parallelogram is base times the height. In the case of this problem, I know that 15 is the base because it's the long side on the outside of the parallelogram. And I know that 8 is the height because it's the distance between the two parallel sides. So in our formula, we're going to use 15 for the base times 8 for the height. When you multiply 15 times 8, you get 120. And our units are inches, so it will be 120 inches squared. And that's the area of this parallelogram. The second problem for showing you how to find the area of a parallelogram that we're going to use is number two. Remember our formula is area equals base times the height. In the case of number two, I know that the base is 20 because it's the long side on the outer edge of our parallelogram. And I know the height is 10 because it's the distance between the two parallel sides. So we're going to multiply 20 inches for the base times 10 inches for the height. So the area will be 20 times 10, which is 200. And our units are inches, so we're going to use inches. And that is squared because we're talking about area. So the area of this parallelogram is 200 inches squared. Number three on our area of a parallelogram worksheet gives us a parallelogram that has a base of five inches and a height of two inches. Now this one's a little different because the orientation of this parallelogram is vertical. I know that this five is the base because this five refers to the outer edge of the parallelogram. I also know that this two represents the height because even though it's running horizontally, it's still showing you the distance between this side over to this side. So it still represents the distance between the two parallel sides. And that means that it's going to represent the height. So when inputting this into the formula for finding area of a parallelogram, we're going to use 5 for the base multiplied by 2 for the height. So 5 times 2 is 10, and then our units are feet, so it's going to be 10 feet squared. Hopefully you found this video helpful for answering the question, how to find the area of a parallelogram.
If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.